Previously, I have ranked many things in Project Zomboid, from traits to weapons to cars and cities. Many, many things have been ranked, but today I am ranking and explaining how to use armor and, you know, all the armor pieces. Now, before we begin, I wanted to say a couple of things. I will be ranking only the armor that actually provides protection. Now, there is a lot of layers that you can put on beneath this armor that you can combine and then apply tailoring to it to get even more protection. So let's say you have like a baseball shirt and a long sleeve t-shirt and you have long johns underneath a normal denim shirt and you can apply protection, extra protection, extra layering to all of those that will give you protection from bites and scratches later on, especially with high, high tailoring. Same thing goes to, let's say, long socks, which, you know, can apply extra tailoring skills or patches with tailoring skill to provide protection to your shins that otherwise you wouldn't have. Now, keep in mind, layering all of these pieces of clothing for ultimate protection is going to make you extremely hot in summer. So be careful. Now, right now, some of these items have movement speed debuff on them. That currently does not work in the game, so we're not going to be talking about that at all. Later down the line, it might be enabled again, so keep an eye on that. Also, some items do have combat speed debuffs as well. Those do work, so we will pay attention to that because, you know, your swing speed is going to be slower wearing certain items. Let's just begin. First, we have a welding mask. The welding mask can also be a hockey mask or something like that. They have the same protection. I think they protect you, your head, like 30 bite and 50 scratch protection and they're decent pretty common to find a welding mask and let's say on zombies like welder zombies or garages something like that but it's not as amazing as a helmet so we're gonna put this into c tier now we have military helmet over here this can be also like a, a motorcycle helmet or anything any other helmet like that because they all provide 100 protection for bite and scratch for your head. Now, some helmets in the past used to provide neck protection as well. Currently, none of them do, which is really unfortunate because neck is one of your most vulnerable places. But for head protection, you know, you just pick one of the helmets. It does not really matter which one. You can just go for what you think looks the most, looks the best. <laughs> you can't really upgrade or repair these. They're just the way they are but you know for head protection they're going to be great you can find these helmets on let's say like military zombies or in military supply stores something like that uh, or camps so we're going to put the helmet into b tier it's there to protect your head and that's it next we move on to a more surprising item that you wouldn't really expect to see on the list now would you this is a scarf you'd say scarf doesn't really protect me but it does. It offers you 10 scratch protection for your neck. It's one of the rare items that actually protect your neck. Your neck being one of the most vulnerable things. Even if you get scratched, you will start bleeding like crazy from your neck. So you really want to get that scratch and bite protection, of course, if you can, on your neck piece. Now, of course, if you get scratched on the neck, it's probably going to ruin the scarf immediately so you're gonna have to replace it but for that one scratch it's gonna give you some protection of course with tailoring you can upgrade it even more so it gives it even bite protection as well so that makes it even better and these can be found on some zombies or in houses and clothing stores something like that we're gonna actually put this into a tier because i value neck protection a lot and there are not many pieces that offer you that. Next, I have to mention the hazmat suit because it just looks cool. It covers you, your whole body, but it doesn't actually offer you protection for your head, neck or hands, even though they are all covered uh, on your screen. It's not much protection and it removes a lot of these items you could otherwise wear. So, you know, if you see hazmat suit, you gotta look cool in it. You gotta look special. But it's not gonna give you much for armor but i had to mention it because it does have a tiny bit of extra armor there so f tier i'm sorry next we have denim shirt this is the only shirt that actually provides any protection it has seven bite and i think 15 scratch protection something like that it's very very decent for what it is it's really not gonna give you a huge boost anything it only really matters when you stack it up with other pieces of clothing again in summer that can be very hot 
but it's a, it's a very decent for what it is. You know, only shirt that provides you that protection. You can put extra shirts underneath it. And of course you can later on upgrade it with tailoring as well. It's, you know, it's not really gonna save your life right from the start, just wearing this thing, but added up in layering, it's pretty decent. We'll put it into C tier of, let's say importance, how important it is to have this thing. Next, we have a bulletproof vest. You can have a police one, a military one, or a civilian one, even though I don't think I've ever seen a civilian one, but apparently they do exist. So these bad boys will provide protection to your upper and lower torso from bite and scratch. It's all very decent protection. One thing though, at max level tailoring, you can actually wear an apron instead of this and then apply patches to the apron and it's gonna provide you extra thigh coverage because chest coverage that this thing provides with upgrades you can get on other items it's gonna already put you almost to the max and if you supplement this bulletproof vest with let's say an apron it's gonna give you the extra thigh protection that you can't really get from anything else so bulletproof vest really is gonna be your choice of your chest protection until you get really to the max level of tailoring. If you ever get there, then you might consider an apron, but otherwise, this is a great piece of armor. We're gonna put it into B tier. Next, we have sweaters, but not and just any sweaters. We have a diamond pattern sweater. Now, why did I choose this one? You know, you have hoodies and other sweaters that provide roughly the same protection, but the diamond pattern one actually provides you with neck protection as well. It's really the only sweater out there or hoodie type of clothing that you can wear that has that. And because we all know you can also upgrade it with tailoring, it gives you even more bite and scratch protection for your neck, which makes it amazing. Once again, protecting your neck is very, very important. Zombies just love it. So having this sweater, once again, is gonna make you very hot in summer, but if you can actually afford to wear it and upgrade it, it's definitely an A tier item. Next, we have a couple of jacket items. These all go in the same slot, so we're gonna talk about them right now. First, we have just the normal jackets with like a police deputy jacket. I think the Rangers have the same jacket. All these provide you the same protection for your uh, chest. Basically, these are, I think, 20 bite and 30 scratch protection. Keep in mind, they also have a bit of a neck protection, which is very important. So if, as we said, we're trying to protect our neck as well, these, all of these jackets do have neck protection. So that's gonna be helpful. Now these are just normal cotton jackets. They are not leather jackets yet. So they're not as good as these other ones. They will do, they will do until you find a better one. So for now, we're gonna put it into C tier. Of course, they're all upgradable, so you can later on apply even better stuff to them. But for now, this one is in C tier. Next, we have a biker gang jacket. I think there's like three different ones of these. This is just a slightly improved scratch protection over this normal one. It's just slightly improved. Also, it has the bonus of looking really cool. These ones already are leather, so if you're trying to, let's say, collect some leather, you can uh, use scissors to rip these guys apart. As I said, it provides a bit more protection for your chest and for your neck than this one, so we're gonna put these ones into B tier. Next, we have military camo jackets. These bad boys, once again, improved armor on the biker jackets. These are leather. They have 30 bite and 50 scratch protection, and they have 15 and 25 for neck as well, which makes them really, really decent. They do have a slight penalty to combat speed. It is not too great, but it is a slight penalty. So just keep that in mind when you're using them. I think it's like 0.97, something like that. So really probably you won't even really notice. These ones are great. If you can find them, they will protect you well in combat. They will protect you in really any situation. So we're gonna put these bad boys into A tier. They're always a good choice and they also look pretty damn cool. Next, we have long ladder jackets and military coats. Those are Those two are in the same category. Now, why did I put these guys over here? So these ones have slightly worse protection than the military camo ones. You lose 10 bite and 10 scratch on your chest and five uh, bite and five scratch protection on your neck. But these ones also cover your groin 
and thighs. You know how zombies love to bite your groin, right? And getting bit in your thighs or scratching your thighs might make you slower because you're gonna have a scratch in your leg. That can be pretty problematic. So they offer you less protection than this jacket for your chest region, but they offer you more protection because these ones don't offer you any protection on groin and thighs down there. Now also, while the leather jacket actually has a combat speed penalty, army coat does not. So army coats, at least right, not, not right now, army coats are actually amazing in that regard. And because when later on you upgrade all of your pieces of, equi of equipment, you will have enough of chest protection as it is. So get an extra thigh and groin protection that is offered from army coat makes this an S tier item in my opinion. Then we have a firefighter jacket. When it comes to protection, this one offers you the most. It has 50 bite and 70 scratch protection for your chest. And I think it's like 20 and 30 for neck as well. Basically just straight up the most protection. Now, keep in mind, these ones you cannot repair. You cannot apply patches. So once you get to high level tailoring, it is better to use others. Also, it has really high insulation, so you're gonna start overheating really fast with this one in summer. And it weighs like four kilos or four units. It is, it is like four times heavier than any other jacket. So while it might be a great find right from the start, you can find it like firefighter uh, zombies or in firefighter places. I think in the long run, it drops down and it's not the highest ranking thing. So I'm gonna actually put this one into B tier. Next, we have leather gloves. This is pretty straightforward. They're the only item that actually provide you protection in their slot for your uh, hands. So, you know, they're no brainer. You can also upgrade them later on. You can find them in like industrial areas and zombies. Some military zombies also have them. So straight up we're gonna put them into a tier pretty straightforward item you know when you get it grab it put it on usually it's also decent if you grab like an extra piece and you know if you find them and put them into your storage for later if these ones go bad but there you go a tier all right now we go to pant items we have four uh, items for pants first we start with like just normal like ordinary pants that maybe police officers wear or rangers wear you know, you have even the worst pants that are just like normal suit pants that don't offer any protection, but these ones do actually have some scratch protection. But really, the chance for you to find jeans or something like that that are just straight up better than these is really high, so these pants are F tier. I mean, I guess they're better than no pants, but when it comes to protection, they really don't offer you much. So we'll put them into F tier. Next on the list, we have pants like jeans, padded pants, military camo pants. These all provide you the same protection. They are, I believe, 10 bite and 20 scratch protection. They are your decent thing that you'll probably find pretty early on. They can be found on pretty much any zombie out there or, you know, a clothing store or houses. They are all over the place. So you finding something like padded pants or jeans or something like that is going to be extremely easy. Now, there are actually better options for pants, so this one is not going to be ranked as high. Of course, you can upgrade it with uh, patches later on as well to make it even better, but these pants, you know, they go out here with uh, these jackets. We're going to put them into C tier. Next, we have firefighter pants. These are, once again, improved on these. They have 20 uh, bite and 30 scratch, so I think like 10 more scratch protection. Alas, good thing right now the speed modifier is not implemented yet because these will make you really slow if it was because <laughs> they have a really bad speed uh, multiplier, but it did, we just said we're not going to rank that, right? So let's ignore this. They have another problem. They are four kilos. They are extremely heavy compared to everything else. And if you're not really going with a very strong character, these guys are gonna just really over encumber you, same as this jacket, for instance, right? Of course, when you wear them, it's it's less than that, but still, they are pretty freaking heavy when worn. So while they do offer you plenty of protection, once again, the uh, insulation they offer is pretty high. So in summer. It's going to be really tough to wear these and you're going to be very, uh, very hot 
Let's put them up here in B tier with the rest of the firefighter gear. This is really decent, but once again, you cannot repair or patch these. So you can't apply extra patches to make them even better. For early on, and especially if you're playing in winter, these can be great, but there are better options that you can find later on. Next, the last piece when it comes to trousers, we have leather trousers, black leather trousers or like skinny leather trousers, something like that. You can find multiple of these. They are pretty rare, it seems. I have seen them on zombies before. I think I've seen them in clothing store as well. Pretty rare, they offer even more scratch protection and of course they are not nearly as heavy as these pants. So these are straight up the best pants that you can wear with no bad modifiers like you know maybe these ones have bad modifiers when you wear them but these ones are just straight up the best so when it comes to your leg protection you should go with these and we're gonna put them into s tier now it might be problematic to actually find them because they are it seems rarer than any other sets of pants but when you do We'll put them into S tier up here. Last but not the least, we have boots. These can be various military boots or like riding boots, something like that. They all offer you a hundred bite and scratch protection for your feet. So, you know, that makes them great. While we have shoes out there that provide slight protection and sneakers that do not provide any protection, the difference in all of these would be the speed modifier that does not work right now. So these ones are generally just the best because they provide the most protection and you can just stomp 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 on zombies with them and we all know we love that stomping so we'll put them up here in a tier and that is actually gonna conclude our list over here with some of my recommendations and i will actually show you a uh, piece of or my character that I equipped and patched with like 10 tailoring and how he looks and what kind of protection he has just so you get to see how this would work in uh, like a real situation. And there you go, here is my boy that has been fully, fully upgraded. He's got full on foot protection that comes from the military boots that he's wearing. He's got perfect shin protection when it comes to scratch, pretty much all but his hands have 100% scratch protection his hands where he's wearing let's say leather gloves if you look in these if you inspect them they have the extra strips as i said we do have uh full-on tailoring over here this was this was all done just for you know checking up the armor over here and now if you look at some of the protection over here as you see i'm actually wearing the apron if we wear the police bulletproof vest over here it's gonna improve our like upper torso and lower torso protection to 100 from 97. But if we wear the apron, this drops down to 97, but you get it, we add extra protection on groin and thighs, which can be really important. And of course, this ice cream server apron that I'm wearing right now does not generally have any protection, but if you inspect it, with maxed out tailoring, we have all this protection for the upper lower torso and then the thighs over here as well does not actually protect the groin <laughs> never mind uh for shin protection we also have where is it over here long socks we can look at this long socks have been upgraded so they have foot and shin protection don't really need the foot protection because you already have the boots but shin protection can be very useful we also have as i as i mentioned before we have like a long sleeve t-shirt we have a Kentucky base belt shirt and we have a denim shirt all worn together in the shirt slot that protect your arms and uh, your chest as well. Then let's see, neck. Neck is the one that you still see is the least protection. Now, we could improve this to 45 uh, protection for neck from bite. If I have worn, let's say this military desert camo jacket, I could wear this and it would provide me 5% extra there, as you will see in a second, there you go. But you can see how the thigh protection and groin protection drops right there. It also gave us a couple more percent over here for the arms and the uh, upper torso. Sure, sure it gave us that, but our thigh protection and groin protection really drops. So that's why I think army coat with upgrades is better. So 
there you have it that's my silly character that I just put up together he's also wearing a gas mask he also has uh, where is it the scarf as you can see we now have if you inspect it it has extra neck protection as well otherwise it starts with 10% scratch so that's useful and there you go so let me know what you think about this list let me know what I have missed or have forgotten or what I might have gotten wrong please let me know and I am looking forward to your things in the comments. So, thanks for watching.